Hey YouTube, it's Ed Johnson again and today I'm going to be showing you how to add menu bars and to link text and images to your HTML documents. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to open up Notepad. Uh, Microsoft Notepad will maximize that and you want to type in the standard HTML tags. So HTML, head, title, make the title, this is my title. Um, close the title tag, close the head tag and open the body tag. Uh, now you should know this from the last tutorials, if you don't go back, watch them, uh, and then you should be up to date. Um, okay, so the first thing you want to do uh, for adding a link is, so for example, if we want something to say click here to continue or something, uh, to find our, oh, click here to find out more. If you just file save as, um, if you just file save that, we're going to save it to the desktop, um, to, we're going to save it as index.html, you can save it as whatever you want, make sure it's just got .html on the end. If we save it like that, um, it'll save as an HTML document, we will minimise it, uh, go to the desktop, and as you can see it's there. We open it up, it should open up in Firefox or your default br browser. If you're finding it's not, right click, open with, Internet Explorer or whatever. Um, this is my title, wait for this to load. Click here to find out more. Now if you click that, nothing's going to happen. Oh, I've highlighted it. Nothing's going to happen. You can't click it, um, well you can click it, but it's not going to take you anywhere. Now if you wanted to say, make it go to Google for instance, you would make a tag around um, where you wanted to click. So the tag is uh, open tag A space H R E F equals open speech marks um, and then, uh, in, so we're going to make it a local no, we're going to make it Google. So HTTP um, forward slash forward slash www.google.com close speech marks, close the tag and then um, we want it to only link the click here so you close it after the here, at the end of the here. So everything in between those uh, will be, everything in between that, so the click here will be linked. Now if we go back to our page, refresh it, you can see there's a link there. If you click that, it should take you to Google. There we go, Google's popped up. Um, so if we go back, um, and now I'm going to show you uh, how to make it link to um, a local local file, for instance. So index.html, that's the name of this file. This file's index.html. Um, so it should just link back to us. So when we click, click here, um, it should just um, take us nowhere. It should just take us back to index.html. Um, so say if you wanted biography.html, if we created a biography file, you'd write bio or whatever the name is, .html. Now if we just wrote www.google.com, save that, um, uh, and try to click it, it would try and find the file called www.google.com, and because that doesn't exist, it says file not found, um, it just doesn't exist, we haven't made one. Um, if you want it to link, uh, if you want it to link to a website, a specific website, you have to do HTTP. Um, get on forward slash forward slash. Uh, you have to add that. If you don't, it will just not work. Uh, so we'll refresh it. And there you go. It's working back to Google again. Um, now, if you want to uh, add um, a link, you can add, you can add a link around anything. So we're going to add it around the whole text. File save, and then that, that means the whole. The whole thing there is all linked, so wherever you click on that, it should link you back to Google. Um, if you wanted, say, for instance, to um, if you wanted to link an image, for example, uh, IMG SRC equals open speech marks. The image um, we're gonna we're gonna make it the Google image. So we'll prop, uh, we'll copy image location, paste the image location, and that's the image. That's where the image is. So we'll right click, copy that. Um, we will paste it into our document as the SRC um, uh, and then close that and that means the image should be linked so if we go back and click refresh the Google image is there uh, and if we click the Google image it should link um, back to Google now as you see there's a border around the outside now if you want to get rid of that it's simple enough to do um, in the image tag um, you can so we're going to do image space border equals open speech marks, zero, close speech marks. So we have to do save, 
and click refresh. The border disappears, but it's still linking. So you can still click it and it'll still take you to Google. Um, so that's how to make it. If you wanted more links, for example, we're going to make a menu bar. So we're going to get rid of all this and we're going to have a, uh, yeah, we're going to have a menu bar. So we're going to have, um, we're going to have Google in our menu bar. We're going to have, um, what else are we going to have? Space, um, we're going to have Yahoo, HTTP. Um, yeah, we're going to have uh, yahoo.com um, as a link and write Yahoo whatever you want. Um, and we're going to have YouTube. YouTube can be in our links. He calls uh, HTTP slash forward slash www.youtube.com. Um, oh, I haven't closed the speech marks there. Uh, I know that shouldn't matter. Um, file save. Um, it shouldn't, shouldn't matter. There you go. Google, if you click Google, it should go to Google. If you click Yahoo, it's gone to Yahoo's website. If you click YouTube, it should go to youtube.com. Um, now we can center that. It's gone to Google. We can center that text so it looks more like a menu bar um, by going and adding and adding the center, center tag. Uh, so we've now got to close the center tag. Um, press enter. Close the center tag. Forward slash center. Um, file save. And go back press refresh or F5 and it's gone into the center so that looks more like a menu bar and you could have for instance about us, um, my site, whatever you want. So thanks for watching guys, more videos coming up soon, please subscribe to keep updated.